Hey guys, it's Tech Grant here. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to upgrade your NIC that you just got for yourself recently, like I did, and add memory to it, and also an NVMe SSD. That is right, so let's get right into it. Okay, the first thing we're gonna need to actually get started is a Phillips screwdriver, and what you're gonna do is literally just flop, open the back side of your NIC, and how you're gonna do this is remove the four screws that are holding in place. So you're just gonna take your Phillips screwdriver and start undoing each one of them at a time. And what this is gonna do is once you unscrew all of them, it's gonna release the tension. Now it is kind of like a four pressure mechanism, meaning that you have to pull all four up at certain given points to release the pressure. Once you release the pressure, then the bottom of the actual NIC will actually come off. So you can see right here, I'm just gonna loosen all these on up like so. Once they're loosened all up, what I should be able to do is literally just pull off each one of them you'll be able to tell when it pulls up all the way so you can see this one's right here is not pulled up all the way so i can't do anything about it so what i'm gonna do is do that again i'm gonna pull it up all the way and then i can release the tension from each one by pulling them individually because they're little they're basically little letter first so what you want to do is pull up each one of these little levers with that you can actually take off the bottom of your neck and now that we got that we can just set that to a side and what we want to do first is actually install our mvme now our mvme is actually going to go right here right above the actual little drive right here and what we need to do is get our screw out of here and then reinstall it so we're just going to get a different screwdriver this is our phillips screwdriver we're going to need something a little bit smaller than that so we just want to get the smallest phillips we have and just go on in here just unscrew this guy once we've unscrewed that we want to just take this little screw and set it to a side for the time being and then what we want to do is grab our nvme drive and we just want to put the teeth right here with the teeth on the inside so you can actually see that when you line it on up you see nvme we're gonna have the drive facing forward with the teeth and just let it bite here yeah, there we go now it's bit all we have to do is apply pressure downward Grab the same screw from earlier that we actually pulled on out because how this works is that it's actually pretty simple it just stacks on top of the drive that's already in there so we're just gonna put that in place if i can never get it hold it add a little bit of pressure then you can just add a little bit of pressure onto the top until it bites once it starts biting and then you can just add more force on top of that and then we're just gonna screw that down until we know secure we're just gonna add a little bit more pressure once it's in place it's in place so mvme is installed so we're good to go there now what we need to do is install the memory we got now there's two different dim slots we're only gonna be using one of these because we only got a one eight gig stick so we're just gonna grab our eight gig stick and just pull it on out and then we can start installing it so we're gonna do the install ram is just take a ram place it onto the top ram slot just at a slight tilted angle and once we have it like this you want to just, just apply it downward and once you have it downward like this it's going to lock it in place and then your ram is installed nothing else really fancy to it and with that we're pretty much all good to go and you can tell because it's all good and lined up also when you put it back on make sure to have it where it says point pointed towards the front side of the actual nook which is going to be the side of of course you know the power button and stuff like that so you can see pointing straight power button all good to go and then we just press it down with the four levers and then grab our phillips and then start screwing everything back in so now if everything works our nook should just power on and we can get started installing windows so nook's powering on so our nook looks to be all good to go ram's installed the new storage is upgraded so all we have to do now is just set up windows on it now that the mvme drive is installed and the rams installed all i have to do is install windows and get this all set up to go which i'm not going to do with you guys here today i just want to show you guys how to install an nvme and also how to install ram if you do plan to do any of this or even upgrade so now you know how to do it if you guys did find this video helpful even though it was short then make sure to smash the like button and of course get subscribed because we're trying to have thousand subscribers before the end of the year so i'd be very much appreciated until then, i'll see you guys in another video tech grant out